G'day and welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to have a bit of a review of uh, CSL Limited. Um, and as I've got there, it's definitely an Australian success story. It's been a phenomenal business since it uh, listed in 94 and it was an incredible business prior to that. But I thought it was well worth going through and thinking about what have been some of the fundamentals that it's pushed it to its uh, you know fantastic dizzy heights that it is in terms of share price now. So we'll go through and just have a look at some of the, the key um, you know, its history and through the fundamentals. So it was listed in uh, 94, was uh, obviously a government run business for, for many decades prior to that, and it listed at, at $2.40 per share. Uh, early last decade, um, there was a, a, share, a share split, so for every share that you purchased for, for $2.40, it was split into three uh, equal shares. So then your your average uh, your cost price per share for the three shares was 80 cents now the incredible thing now is 80 cents has turned into as at the uh, the 21st of feb uh, 18 uh, 156 dollars and 85 cents so just an incredible run that we've seen in um well since uh, 94 um there's obviously been ebbs and flows in between but the the results have been absolutely phenomenal. This is all off the back of a, a very good um, you know, first half year for the 2018 financial year. Um, so yeah, great earnings growth and uh, continued uh, uh, profit. So just out of interest, if you invested um, you know, $10,000 back in 94, um, based on uh, a figure a few days ago, not yesterday, um, so not far off two million dollars. So a ten thousand dollar investment is worth two million dollars, and the dividends you've received over the time has been one hundred fifty six thousand or just over. So, yeah, a real winner for those that uh, took the chance, which you know ten thousand dollars was was a lot of money back in ninety four. We've got to remember that the uh, um, you know the risk people take back there uh, back then you know should be understated so it, it's not a you know and a free ride um, so what's happened why has it gone so well well you know why do businesses increase value over time and for me it's it's clearly it's about earnings uh, uh, increases earnings growth and increased profit that's what drives valuations of any asset whether it's a a commercial property if it gets down to the income uh, is a is the fundamental reason why how we value things so what CSL have done um, over time is they've been constantly reinvesting back into their business they've done that through research and development and they've also done that through constant acquisitions in areas that uh, you know it's core business for them to acquire you know more additional businesses in in their sector and of course what's happened when you do that over time is you can see the earnings per share and this is only going back to 2008 but it was yeah $1.27 and now 2017 um, you know coming up to four dollars per share so that's what drives um, you know the valuation of any business and or asset We'll just leap into the fundamentals for, for a quick look um, and obviously return on equity has been absolutely exceptional uh, pretty well for, from day one. Anything above 15% return equity is uh, on the obviously the capital that's invested, what return we get. Um, it's a key measure uh, for us and anything above 15% is you know a figure we're happy with. Um, this was obviously the earnings for, uh, for the 17 financial year and this is the forecast earnings uh, going up to 18, 19 and 20. So this is what we're chasing. We're after earnings growth. Um, it obviously is very expensive uh, to buy. It's obviously had an incredible run, but over the years, it's always been expensive to, uh, to purchase. Um, so it doesn't mean that you just go blindly in and buy now after such a strong run. Do you wait for corrections or, or you know, the uh, crash that may happen at some stage in the future? Timing around that is uh, obviously a complete unknown, um, but it's, uh, yeah, definitely a, a very high quality business. Um, and you'll notice here that the earnings per share compared to the dividend um, that pay out, there's a huge difference there. And that just shows that the amount of retained earnings that they're that they're keeping, uh, obviously well over well over two dollars 
per share that they keep and they reinvest that back into the business. And that's what's driven, uh, obviously, the, the earnings and profit growth. So if we blindly just look at a dividend yield, we'll say, geez, we're better off of a term deposit at uh, you know, 2.5%. Not that that's exciting, but if we blindly just compare dividends, um, you'll say, well, this is pathetic. But when we're getting you know 1.25 of a growing pie, so I would always say to my clients, I prefer uh, a smaller dividend on a growing amount of money and give it long enough that uh, dividend will be obviously very substantial. Um, so yeah, it looks expensive. PE is, is pretty high when it averages close to probably you know, 16, 17, 18 for the Aussie market. Um, the you know, debt to equity ratio in 16 was 100%. Uh, anything above 40% um, should be uh, you know, considered. But when we look at um, the interest cover, so of their earnings, how many times can they cover off their, their interest costs? And that is 22 times. Generally, we like four. Uh, yeah, they can cover their interest cost through earnings four times or more. They can do it comfortably at 22. They're clearly using uh, the debt that they have extremely well in terms of acquisitions. And one thing they've been doing for, for a long time is been buying back their own shares on, on a daily basis. So when they do that, that shrinks the shareholder base, which means there's more profit to share with fewer shareholders or shares on issue. So extremely strong business. Um, and uh, yeah, would we be buying it now? No, we'd be quite reluctant. But uh, yeah, on, on a cor sharp correction, yeah, definitely uh, opportunity. Sorry, the video has gone for a bit longer than what I hoped, but yeah, what a fantastic business um, that CS, CSL has been for people. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would be awesome, and I'll catch you next week. Thanks for listening.